Hello and welcome to Interactive Virtual Rooms. Today I'm going to show you how to create a background in Google Slides. So let's start with a blank Google Slide. We're going to go over to Insert. We're going to insert an image and we're going to search the web. So you'll notice I've already typed in wood floor perspective. So I want a wood floor. I'm going to click on this and insert it into my slide. And then I'm going to pull that down, stretch it out, and bring it down to maybe about here. Let's find a wall. So I'm going to insert image, search the web, and this time I'm going to pick a brick wall. Pick a wall, insert. Now I could choose to stretch this out, but I don't like the way that it looks when I do that. So instead, I'm gonna take this wall, make it about a third of the size of the room, stretch it up to here so it actually covers it all. And then I'm just gonna hit Control D and Control D again, and then I will have a full wall. There we go. And there we go. It's a little messy because it goes off, but we can play around with it later. All right, so let's put some furniture in this room. This is going to be a virtual, oh, actually, I don't like the color of that wall. Why don't I go into format here and see if I can change the color. So format options, let's recolor it to something a little bit more friendly to look at. A bit gray, because that'll match the floor better. And one last one here. There. All right, so I'm gonna put, this is gonna be a virtual classroom, so let's put in um, a blackboard. So let's insert an image. Now I want it to be, I can use remove BG to get rid of any background, or I should be able to just put in blackboard PNG, and it should pop up for me. How about this one right here? It's a little cartoony, but that's okay. I'm going to put this on the wall here, and then I want a comfortable chair, actually a bookshelf would be nice. So let me insert a bookshelf. I'm only going to insert like one more thing and then we'll show you where we go from here. So let's do again, leave the PNG and put bookshelf. A whole bunch here. Oh, I like this one. Let's insert this bookshelf. Why don't we paint it gray so that it matches? There we go. Um, way too big, obviously. So let me bring it down to about here. And this time, it shouldn't affect it if I stretch it out a little bit lower. And I'm going to put a bookshelf right here and then stretch it to the edge there. Maybe move over my blackboard and stretch my bookshelf. Okay, so now I have this. If I was to use this as my virtual classroom, students would be able to click on it and move any of these objects. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I am going to download, see what file, download, and I'm going to download the entire thing as a JPEG. So now that I've downloaded it, let me put a new slide in here. I'm going to take that and I can either put the JPEG on here or alternatively, I can right click on here and see where it says change background. I'm going to choose my image.
And then that doesn't move. That just stays there and you can add your other interactive items, but nobody can move any of the items that are in your classroom. And that's how you create a background for a virtual room.